Hi, welcome back to the channel guys and in this video I'm gonna make a really big cupboard so I have this drawing here which is the only drawing that you actually have and it's a top and a bottom part so enjoy the video and let's start building so for this build I have oak panels white oak which I will gonna make in the right dimension with my track saw uh, track real square from bench hooks hotel guides so I'm gonna square everything up, make everything of the right dimensions, and then I'm gonna connect this to the top part. So now I'm gonna do the vertical parts. And I'm gonna use one side, so one reference, and I will check if it's square. So this is out of squareness. I need to square up one side first, then I will measure it in the right height dimension, and then I will cut the last strip like this. So first square it up. Now I will add the repeat stop system on my real square, so I can do repeat cuts. Here is a calibration block, which is calibrated to my real square to my track so now i can do repeat cuts on my pedals and i will repeat this for two more times but i'm gonna skip that in this video now i'm gonna bring in my parallel guides from bench hooks put them in the track get them in the right dimensions straight away with the parallel guides installed on the right measurement I'm gonna tighten these up and then tighten this one and then I can do all my parallel cuts right now so I'm setting my router table to make a rabbit on the back side which will be big enough to fit my back panel which is 10 millimeters thick and I also want to go in 10 millimeters in height so I'm gonna set it like that uh, what I didn't show you is those are be the outside vertical parts it will have two dividers in the middle also vertical I'm not gonna make a rabbit, so I'm gonna make four back panels. I wanna have one back panel, so what I will do, I'm gonna make this middle two vertical boards the same size as what this is. So I'm gonna take this over on my parallel guide, and I, then I will cut the middle boards in the width from here. So the sides are installed and I'm going to use my uh, middle panel which I will install here and here as a reference for my lamello as well. It's nicely uh, lined up with the front. I use this combination square to line it up so it's nice and even, clamped it and now I'm going to add some lamellos in it. Easy. So the next step will be the under dividers. So they will go in between horizontal, in between the vertical panels. So we're getting there. How I did that all the same. I set my combination square to one measurement. So my combination square, and then line, line, do this first, and then this. So why, if there's any movement, if I'm pushing my lamello in, uh, it doesn't interfere this line anymore. So this line is really important first, this 
can be do uh, basically also without this panel. I'm gonna bring it in here and bring in the mellow here. I will use this line for uh, this lamello and that lamello, so there's only one pencil I needed. Okay, now I will add the Tenzo. Alright, so this whole mass needs to be glued up together. And that's gonna be stressful, so I'm not gonna take you in that whole process. So far, so good. I'm gonna clean all the joints with a cloth with some hot water. Happy so far, so let's go to the next step. So everything is dry, and now I will gonna make the face frame, which will be 40 millimeters all the way around. So I'm gonna cut strips now. Now I am cutting the horizontal face frame dividers. I set my stop block to the right measurement and then I'm just doing rip cuts with my uh, miter saw. So I will going to add some dominoes and I use this uh, center vise so I can do center dominoes which is exactly in the middle of this bar which is 40 millimeters so 20 millimeters in the, in the center and then you can get it uh, accurately done all the same and then the next step is in the vertical bars 20 millimeters from the top and then it should be aligned together i will add these two small bench dogs put them in place here and then one here so i can work steady i'm gonna mark up 20 millimeters so 20 millimeters so everything is prepared to glue up together so the face frame is dried and now it's time to uh, fill out the inside of the cabinet and I'm just going to glue on solid oak strips which I will make on the right thickness with my planar thickness so I can uh, attach my uh, hinge plate on the inside also my drawer slides here is uh, cut some strips make them on the right thickness fill it out glue it in So here is the corner and I want to match the same profile so I added a chamfer here so I've been cutting these strips and make them on the thickness so it's nice and even. Alright, so we have the base done. I need to install the back panel, drawers and doors. But I need to wait until the hardware comes in. So I parked that for now and I'm gonna go ahead building with the top. Um, first I'm gonna make a rabbit with my router. I'm gonna do my rabbit deeper here because I think I'm gonna install LED light in these shelves. So bring the rabbit in so I have some space behind the back panel for my wires. So let's cut the rabbit first. So now I will measure this, which is 35.7. And I'm gonna cut those with my parallel guides. So I have really good control over the accuracy of my width of the panel. So I cut out all my boards. So I'm laying out the lamellos for the vertical dividers. And there's a center line here. Yeah, right here. And I took over the face frame from the bottom uh, cabinet. So this is the center line. 
And now I'm just going to set down my lamello. So I line that line with my pencil line, bring in my precision triangle. So I clamp down my precision triangle. Center line is lined up with my center line of my lamello. I took over these here. I already did those and now I'm gonna add lamellos here. So I'm gonna add some glue in the joint as well in the lamello. And then now let's bring in my precision triangle for a glue up and because of all those holes you can use it quite good for clamping. Alright. So the face frame is glued, everything is square, hopefully, fingers crossed, it keeps coherent and let it sit overnight and I will check if everything is dry, if it's still good and then I will receive the hardware, I'm gonna receive the, st the steel doors which will come in here. So part two, we'll be installing and making drawers and uh, the doors and adding some finish. So uh, part two, check it out, it will, I will upload it very soon. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.